Hello boys and girls, today we're going to take a look at decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers. Um, we've talked about decimals, that's that uh, having a number and having that little decimal point in there, those are the decimals. Fractions, of course, like 1 over 4 would be a fraction. And then, of course, a mixed number, having a whole number with a fraction next to it. Um, our learning target for today, we will, or you will, I should say, compare and order decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers. Now, one of the challenges that we deal with when we're starting to compare and order decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers is that sometimes we may look at a mixed number and not be able to tell whether or not that mixed number is the same as the decimal or if it's greater or less than the decimal. So in that case, there's a couple things that we need to do. The first thing, the easiest way to compare fractions, decimals, and mixed numbers is to first make sure that all of the numbers you're looking at are the same type of number. So for instance, if you have two numbers that are mixed numbers, and you have two numbers that are decimals, the easiest way to do that is either convert those two, prob those two numbers that are mixed numbers to decimals, or convert the two decimals to mixed numbers, one or the other. That way you're working with all the same type of number, makes it much easier to put it in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, or for that matter, to compare them, to decide whether or not one number is greater, less than, or equal to another number. Sometimes it's difficult to tell whether a fraction is larger or smaller than another. In this case, you can switch the fraction to a decimal and then determine which is smaller or larger. So again, just kind of going back to what we talked about, making sure they're all the same type. I came up with a number line here and it says, let's look at a number line to assist us in our understanding of this concept. It says, compare 2.5 so 2 and 5 tenths, exactly, 2 and 1 quarter, 2.0, or 2, just a whole, no uh, fraction there, or in 2 and 3 fourths. Now, if you know your um, uh, percentage, not percentages, decimals, equivalents to 1 fourth and 3 fourth, 3 fourths, this problem becomes very easy. First thing we need to do, though, is let's go ahead and look at our number line here. We notice that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 spaces going across. So we've got 2.0 is the lowest one, so let's go ahead and number this one or label this one um, as um, 2. Okay? And we'll label this one down here as 3. And we can go to 2.0 and 3.0. Okay, 2.0 and 3.0. If this is 2.0, then this is going to be 2.1. This is going to be 2.2. This is going to be 2.3. This is going to be 2.4. This is going to be 2.5. 2.6. 2.7. 2.8. Oops. 2.9 and 3.0. Okay, oops, dropped my decimal there. So there's our decimal, 2.9. Now, I can also look at this in terms of looking at the same thing as fractions. So if I was looking at this and kind of setting this up, I could say that if we're dealing with, we're dealing with what? If I were to turn this into fractions, we have just two, then we would have what? If this is going to be, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one being 10, what are we dealing with? Exactly, we're dealing with tenths. So this one, let's do a different color for this. This is going to be 2 and 1 tenth. This will be 2 and 2 tenths. 2 and 3 tenths. 2 and 4 tenths. 2 and 5 tenths. 2 and 6 tenths. 2 and 7 tenths. 2 and 8 tenths, 2 and 9 tenths, and 3. Okay? So now as I look at this, I've got my kind of cut it down my number line, and my number line is kind of there, and I'm looking at this trying to figure out, all right, now how am I going to fit these in? Well, I know from um, my practice and everything that I've done that 1 fourth is equal to what? Think of it in terms of quarters. So if we've got quarters, one-fourth is equal to what? 0.25. So I can take that number and turn that into 2.25. So now I've got my decimals all working the same. Down here, 
three quarters we know is 0.75, so I can turn that into 2.75. And now I could order that. I could put those numbers in order based on what I now know. So obviously, let's look at this. The smallest number would be 2.0. The next smallest number would be, looking at this, 2.25. The next smallest number would be 2.5, and the next smallest number would be 2.75. Okay? So there you have what we've done. We've kind of looked at comparing those numbers. We converted the dec or the fraction to a decimal for both of those to make it much easier for us. And then we kind of did a number line just to kind of give us a little bit better idea of where they fit. Now let's talk about just for a second. Where would two and a fourth fit in this number line somewhere? Because it's 2.25. It's not 2.2 and it's not 2.3. It's 2.25. So it's going to be here in the middle. So right here in the middle would be two and one fourth because it's 2.25. Now this one down here, 2.75, it's not 2.7, it's not 2.8. It's right here in the middle and it fits in at 2.75 right there. Okay? So you can kind of figure out by looking at this now that two and a quarter is two and a quarter less than or greater than two and three tenths. You're right, it's less than two and three tenths because of where it is on our number line. So by making those number lines, just like we said at the beginning of the year, take the time to make a number line. It makes so much easier for you to understand where those fractions might fit into and how we do this. Okay? Just kind of make that number line and kind of go with it from there. Now, let's do just a little bit of practice. Um, let's look at 7. Is it greater or less than 6 and 9 tenths? Well, this should be fairly easy because we look at this and we say, well, you know what, 7 is greater than 6, so that's pretty simple. We don't even really have to worry about that. But if I had to convert this to a decimal, let's say that this was 7.4, and I wasn't sure, and I'd, obviously I would hope I would be sure, but if I turned around and I changed that 6 to 7 and 9 tenths, I'm not sure if 7 and 9 tenths is greater or less than 7.4, so I need to convert that to a decimal. So if I convert that to a decimal, we know that 9 tenths is equal to 0.9, so therefore this would be 7.9. And then we could look at this and say, oh, well, you know what, in this case, 7.4 is less than 7.9. Okay, so we could convert it looking at it that way. If we did another one here, oops, hold on, let's get rid of that. That popped up. Let's try um, 12.5 greater or less than um, 12 and 2 ninths. Oops. 12 and 2 ninths. Okay? Well, in this case, we're kind of dealing with the fact that, um, excuse me, 12 and 2 fifths, I'm sorry, that's the wrong number, 12 and 2 ninths. We could have done that, but 12 and 2 fifths, let's make it a little easier on ourselves. 12.5 and 12 and 2 fifths, well, I know that fifths is dealing with 0 0.20. So for every fifth, it's equal to 0 0.20, okay? So 2 fifths would be twice that, which would be, so 0.2 or two, uh, excuse me, two fifths would be equal to double that, 0 0.40. So therefore, 12 and two fifths is also 12.40. And I can look at that very quickly and say, you know what, 12.5 is greater than 12.40. Okay? So that's a little quick hit on um, recognizing and comparing fractions and being able to do it the way we just looked at it. Remember, when you look at this, do yourself a favor, make a number line, um, and then make sure that you also, you want to make sure that you convert your fractions to decimals or decimals to fractions so that you have all the same numbers. So hopefully you were able to look at this and you'll be able to compare and order decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers from now on. This is Mr. Brewer, and you have been flipped.